I just want to quickly give you all a reminder that the system is absolutely rigged. They don't want you to make money. <laughs> but the funniest fact about it all is, you know that. Yet you're still sitting here thinking, whenever they're talking negatively about crypto, no, it must be right. They must know exactly what is good for you, what is good for the people. I've got to show you a video from a congressman, and, and afterwards we'll talk. Yes, it is true. The United States also makes money by printing money. That benefit goes to the American people when we provide more services or when we tax them less. And the intent of the billionaire bros in crypto is to appropriate for themselves that literal money-making machine. <laughs> that was a fun little dub joke, right? Somebody took that video and dubbed it over to act like a congressman. I <laughs> gotcha. No, it's not. This is an actual congressman's actual words. If this doesn't show you, it's it's all one big shit show. Then I don't know what to tell you. I, I really don't. Guys, make sure you press that like button right now. You've got absolutely nothing to lose, but a lot of stuff to win by pressing the like button, like my gratitude. Anyway, a little side note. After Jerome Powell's speech just now, prices are actually doing quite nice. I mean, take a look at the XRP chart. The moment that the whole meeting started up to now, the price is actually up about 5%. We're hovering at around 73 cents and still are continuing to pump. Bitcoin in a similar field, actually from the dip, let's just quickly measure that, is up also about 1.5, 1.6% or so right now. And it seems that the juice is back in. And now let me make one thing really clear to y'all people. I think we're in a bull market. I've stated it many times before. I think we're in a bull market right now as we speak. And I think the main direction we're going to be going is upwards until I am proven wrong. Yes, on the short term, there have been a couple of different instances where we've got some bearish looking patterns. But look at how the price just broke through everything. Oh, we had some short term resistances. Bam, just broke through it. No, no, no trouble in paradise at all. And at first I thought, oh, this must actually be because of Jerome Powell and some of the remarks he's made. But I keep realizing this is all just one big joke. Every single time they speak, I am more so and more so reminded that a lot of it is literally made up. I mean, if you really start looking at a lot of the numbers that come out and a lot of the thoughts that come with it, and you're still fully convinced you've got the full story and the US dollar is really what you want to go for in the economy. Oh, they're being so honest with it all. Then I'd like to refer back to, again, Christine Lagarde, the head of the ECB, who about a year ago said, no, Europe's not going to get into a recession. What happened a couple months later? Boom, Europe went into a recession. What I also found funny was many of these lawyers claiming, oh, Ripple's never going to win. Oh, the SEC's going to shut everything down. Oh, but Ripple really won. And now what's also interesting is over in Congress and everywhere, they're starting to vote and talk about regulating crypto a certain way. I'm not saying it's good, not saying bad, I'm saying a certain way. And Austin Campbell came out with a right, oh, just swinging. It's worth noting that the SEC failed to stop or impede any of the Mt. Gox, Terraform Labs, Celsius, BlockFi, or FTX, but we have inexplicably gone after Library, Coinbase, and XRP, none of whom can have committed fraud or deliberately damaged customers, this stands by the D's is not credible. Which is a response to, again, some people coming over, the, the, the Dem side, to state that the bill that they want to get for crypto, again, the Republican market structure bill, aka the not fit for the 21st century act, is a rushed piece of legislation that lacks adequate funding. How? I mean, do you guys remember uh, Gary Gensler asking for money? For more money uh, to, to fight crypto, I mean, this Wild West of crypto request didn't seem like that much money, right? After Gensler already was requesting a ton of money before. So, not so sure how this could lack adequate funding as, it, it again, to me, seems like it's not that bad to spend money on something which puts your entire country in the top of the motherfucking top. Creates more confusion and complexities. The entire point is to get away of this confusion. Hamstrings efforts to go after bad actors. Again, the whole point is to make sure the bad actors are really pointed out as bad actors and that good actors can stay. Let's criminal, crypto criminals off the hook. That's like a, a grandma type of argument again, that by allowing a certain realm to exist, you are enabling, criminal, enabling criminals, which per definition might be true, right? If there was no cash, there could be no cash criminals, which is a goofy thing to say, you know, goofball. At the end of the day, the more regulations there are, the less criminals there will be as right now it's the quote unquote wild west as these guys like to call it so 
a lot of things are like l allowed or not allowed or like a gray area. But the more defined it is, the more people be like, ah, I don't want to do that because that's criminal. <laughs> that's criminal. I don't want to do that. And then you can actually go after them properly as well instead of being a, can we? Should we? Is that allowed? Is that not? And you get this confusion argument. I mean, the last couple of hours, I've really been focused on all these crypto regulations and what exactly they're thinking, what exactly they're doing, and it really became quite clear to me. I think these guys over there as well are just playing a little bit of a game of chicken, which comes along the lines of a lot of these guys want to have their name on the bill. They want to look as if they're doing good, but a lot of them are really scared, maybe not to take it up against Gary Gensler, but to really speak out their minds. Austin here has such a good summary by saying, the way we're doing it now is, is getting a lot of these proper guys to get improperly questioned, improperly lawsuited up, whatever, while a lot of criminals get to escape. And guys at the SEC deliberately, and I, I put that clearly right there, are letting it happen. We need to, and this is actually what a couple of guys have said, I believe Davidson, Warren Davidson did say it before. We need to fire Gary Gensler, get some, this is not what he said anymore, proper investigations going, make sure we stay on top of the game by getting crypto properly registered or registered and, I guess, regulated in every way, shape, or form, and to just start being realistic. But that's a very harsh thing to ask from a politician, right? Brad Sherman, the guy whom we just uh, heard talk about the U.S. and the dollar printing, this guy right here, who's heavily against crypto, by the way. He just called the ripple outcome ridiculous, criticizing the new judge's ruling that XRP is sometimes a security and sometimes not. To which Chairman McHenry had a proper response, or at least um, a little message close enough in the right direction. We're taking similar actions today by bringing these relatively new um, innovations into the regulatory perimeter. Our comprehensive digital asset market structure bill recognizes a key issue. Digital assets that are not inherently securities may be offered as a part of an investment contract, but that does not make them necessarily securities. To clarify how the Supreme Court's Howey test applies to digital assets, our bill focuses on two key issues, decentralization and functionality. That is the crux of the fit for the 21st Century Act, the pairing of those two factors. We're taking- Yeah, um, and he said it quite properly in the sense of whatever, 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 but it doesn't make it a security, period. They're trying, really, they are. From a lot of different perspectives, they are. Uh, Hester also pointed out, and I like this, the SEC exhibits hostility towards tech and disclosure in a new rule proposal. Here's my initial take. And you want to know the most ironic part of it all? Take a look. SEC, what did they put up? Please, please don't laugh too hard. Conflicts of interests associated with the use of predictive data analytics by broker, dealer, and investment advisors. So long story short, for example, an exchange like Coinbase could have predictive data that they could take advantage of, or in theory, the investment advisors in any financial realm uh, could have that. I mean, the whole rule does not sound too crazy on its own, but it's kind of funny coming from them. And it reads, to eliminate or neutralize the effect of certain conflicts of interest associated with broker dealers or investment advisors interactions with the investors through these firms' use of technologies that optimize for predict, guide, forecast, and direct investment-related behaviors or outcomes. So, in theory, this could be any AI. In theory, this could be any analysis, I guess, depending on how broad you want to paint this brush. And you know what I often like? The idea that, as noted above, firms' use of technology and subsequent adaptation incorporating emerging technologies are not new. At the same time, the commission has addressed firms' relationships with investors in a variety of ways to ensure investor protection uh, as the use of technology in these relationships has evolved over time. I think it's quite interesting. They refer to the idea that these technologies are changing over time and that from that perspective, these rules also need to change. Quote, the proposal thus is consistent with the commission's practice of evolving our regulation in light of market and technological developments. I think this by far is one of the most funny pieces coming from the SEC ever. Because when it comes to crypto, they say, no, it's all clear. Let's use rules that have been here for 90 years, right? 80 years, whatever. When it comes to AI, some of these predictive algorithms or whatever you want to call them, they're like, oh, you know what? This area, this, this, this whole area is changing. And, and we, of course, at the SEC, we, we, we also like to go, go for change. And uh, we, 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 we still need to keep authority over all this. <sighs> uh, it's like having your cake and eating it too, huh? So uh, why to make this video? What, what is the actual takeaway from all this? Well, that if you're still debating as to what's keeping us down and whether or not we're going to crazily pump the moment the regulations come in, let me tell you one thing. They're keeping this vague deliberately. 
I can go on talking about how BlackRock might play a role in all this or potentially Fed now, etc. We don't need to. I think the story is pretty clear. If they wanted to get it clear, they would have done this a long time ago because the counter arguments are so ridiculously dumb. Akin to people saying the XRP ruling is unclear, the judge is stupid. These guys are so much huffing their own supply of doo-doo. I don't know what they're exactly they're huffing. That it's, to me, hit a point where I'm just ignoring everything now. Regulation-wise, these guys are goofballs, all right? And I know, I'm just a news reporter or something like that, right? And let me tell you, I'm not sure I would have been able to get these rules implemented quicker or better. Not at all. Not the best politician out there. But I will tell you that any single person reading into this and understanding it would have also come to the same conclusion that these counter arguments are just so ridiculously dumb. To which I keep on saying, this is being done in this way deliberately. Again, you need some opposition to make sure things don't go too smoothly. And my takeaway from it all is I just keep buying like a freaking madman. Right now, more than ever, yesterday or the day before I posted my top five cryptocurrencies or some, a lot of you guys said, please talk about this when coins are down. Right now, a lot of coins are down. A lot of you guys were bashing me throughout the last 24 hours that your XRP is falling. Oh, it's falling so much. Oh, oh, I'm sad. I'm not. I keep buying, and I do that consistently every single day. Right now, I will go on my phone. Right now, this, I guess in five minutes from now, four minutes from now, I will go on my phone, and I'll buy more. Why? Because I know what the best thing for me is to do. Uh, I, uh, a couple of hours ago, I shared with you guys, I'm buying some more Chainlink and IOTA. Those are just two coins that I like, and I thought of buying at that moment. You know why? Because I buy every single day. I buy more. I believe the bull market is here. I believe they're lying to you on the regulatory front. I don't think you can make money if you just follow that type of news. Because as we've seen with the Ripple ruling, the amount of positivity was so insane. But yet they tried to smack it down as hard as they could with all this negativity. And all of a sudden, Bitcoin always so volatile. But the moment that Bitcoin, uh, that XRP settlement comes in, boom. The, the most quiet month for Bitcoin ever. Even CZ, the CEO of Binance, the biggest crypto exchange out there, said that Bitcoin is more stable than stable coins now. Well, I think that's about to change for the better rather soon. And right now, guys, as we speak, I'm just adding more and more money to my longs because I personally believe crypto is on the up and up and the downside is just minimal. So I, the best thing I can do is just buy more. Again, you don't have to trust me. Do your own due diligence, not your financial advisor. But I will tell you, Right now, you can claim $1,125 worth of a trade for free over on Bybit uh, to trade XRP with or over on BitGet if that's something you're interested in. You can get yourself a couple of juicy prizes on this spin wheel for just fulfilling some of these tasks said down below right here. Just check it out. The link is down below. And my own bull market prediction, it doesn't really matter, right? I've said before $10, $20, $30. It's all within margin. It's all not that far away. And a lot of the problems that we're talking about right now they will cease to exist the moment that we actually get into the more bullish vibes and the retail starts flocking back in because it's not yet right now, but they're doing that deliberately. Understand the manipulation. Only that way can you make the most amount of money. And what I'm saying is I just keep on buying consistently and I kind of shy away from some of these regulatory fronts because even though I cover it all the time on my channel, guys, I think from that perspective also, I've got more authority to say it's such a stupid game that they're playing and these guys speaking I'm sure they're smart, right? But the way they, this information comes out seems so ridiculously poopoo-brained that I'm losing too many brain cells listening, and I, I'm kind of going to step away ever so slightly. Not from politics, but from making my investment decisions partially based on their stance. Because I personally think the U.S. can still go for a blanket crypto ban, even though I don't think it could come within a year or two. I think after the next bull market, it could come in, uh, which might end the next bull market, basically. Right now, they're not going to do that yet, though. And I don't think they're going to make things clear because it does not fit their agenda. Again, we have seen it time and time again. And you can hear, uh, see it here a little bit that even the IMF, they basically said, hey, make sure crypto does not become legal tender. Hey, make sure that crypto does not become properly registered or I guess regulated is what they said quite recently. Just understand if you if you properly understand it's all a game. You can more easily play it and become the victor. All I'll say is I believe firmly in the halving cycles, meaning that in about a year and a half from now or so, we're going to be seeing an all-time high. The bull market is already here, even though we might see another dip. And that even though there might be some bumps in the road still, and I can upload this video now in a couple of hours, boom, prices are down. I think if we're going to look back at these videos in a couple of months, 
Many people will be surprised at just how well things have done, regardless of what happens on the regulatory front. These guys will keep going back and forth and back and forth, but they'll try to keep things vague. As long as you realize that, I think you're going to be golden. And guys, make sure you put that notification bell on for in case something crazy happens. Because maybe Gary Gensler is going to shoot out of his pocket tomorrow and go for another 10 lawsuits or something. Just realize again, if you don't believe what I'm saying, they went for a Coinbase and a Binance lawsuit in the same week. If that doesn't trigger in your brain that this is just one big shit show, then I don't know what to tell you. But uh, yeah, that's enough for today. Hopefully see you guys again in another crypto video later.